I'm Daniel Calm, the National Sales Manager with BNR. If you've ever demoed electric handpiece and thought it was too heavy or the head was too large, you were just using it incorrectly, and I'm going to show you why. We've really focused on balancing our handpieces, and the best way to illustrate that is with the air-driven handpiece that I've brought in, Prestige Black Line, and it's made of a carbon fiber body. It's the lightest weight handpiece ever made, and even though it's lightweight, you notice that if I, if I grip it like I'm about to cut a tooth, and I try to open my forefinger and my thumb, it will fall back. And the reason is because the center of gravity is all the way behind my wrist. So as I'm maneuvering this to cut a tooth, you can see the, the movement of the tubing itself. That means that with every movement of my hand, I'm supporting the entire weight of the tubing. So it's not a complete picture to look at the weight of the handpiece. With this knowledge and understanding, what we've done with our electric handpiece is this. So we've produced our electric handpiece to be very well balanced. And when you hold it in the crest of your palm, you notice that my thumb and forefinger are completely relaxed. And this allows me to grip the contra angle a little bit farther back than you would a normal air driven. And the reason why dentists grip an air driven very close to the neck of the head is again, when you're exercising this paint brushing technique, you need to have it very close to maneuver it because you're making repetitive strokes back and forth. So with an air driven, you paint brush, with an electric, you mill. And what you do is you balance the, the handpiece in your hand and instead of moving the burr over the tooth repetitively, what you're gonna do is just insert the burr to depth. Once you've got your depth cut, then you just move it around on the margin. And so this is more of a milling than a paint brushing. It's much like an electric toothbrush versus a standard toothbrush. If you picked up a new electric toothbrush and used it like a standard toothbrush, it would be very heavy and cumbersome. So it's a similar concept. Uh, the power of the electric handpiece allows you to mill and just move through the material, almost like butter. Um, your technique is adapted around the air-driven lack of torque, so you need to feather and paintbrush. You'll notice that if you maneuver, if you use an air-driven handpiece with a paintbrushing technique, the first thing you notice is that I need a lot of space to, to maneuver. So if I'm in the posterior of the mouth and I have to drag the burr across the tooth surface over and over repetitively, I need a lot of room to maneuver. Therefore, dentists uh, gravitate towards small heads. But with an electric, again, if you observe the milling technique, even if you're in the posterior of the mouth, you're able to get into more uh, tighter areas. Because now I can get in and I let the burr do the cutting. And you'll notice I haven't moved the handpiece all that much, so I don't require as much room. So from my experience, uh, you know, the objections of weight and head size are, are really unlocked with the key of the technique. Being there is proud to be represented in Canada by our partner, Clinical Research Dental. To arrange an in-office demonstration of Being Air products, contact or speak to your CRD account manager. Connect on social media or visit the CRD website at clinicalresearchdental.com to learn more.